Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, it is 18... No, 1918, and my goodness, this war has lasted too long. I've lost about 5.5 million pounds, as you can see from the budget. Um, it's 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 been so long. Uh, Serbia default into finds for military. Um, get down to size, I don't really care. So that's basically what we did. Uh, let's see, UK. We were naval able to really na navally invade, but I did make a pretty good navy, I'd say. And so, as you can see on screen, this is what we demanded from them. So, as you see, Af oh, Africa is a giant mess. Uh, we were also at war with the Ottomans and Serbs, which actually was a really, really good thing for us, because that allowed us to move through Serbia, basically go through the Ottoman Empire, kill them off as well, add them to our sphere, of course. But after that, then we were able to attack British-held places in Africa. Now, I've lost a couple colonies here. I've lost parts of Guangxi. Uh, there's so many rebels down here, too. Communist rebels. I've, I've lost Guangdong. Uh, we actually still have all these provinces. And we still have this. We still have... You know, who th would have thought this would be one of the safest places in the world for France? West... French West Shandong. Um, we've got commies all over the place, which is... Not good. Uh, let's see. We have actually our ships around here. We so we, I've got a lot of rebels to deal with. We got to make sure that these people don't rebel against us. Switzerland is doing okay, but holy cow, I spent quite a few hours off screen just like going through this because it, it's so laggy when this happens. Look at all the fr the, <laughs> the Russian stuff here, the Danubian Federation. Oh look, we actually have an army down here too. Look at that. I I I, I mean, look at my our military score. 941. We have 141 battalions out of everything. I mean, just. I don't even know what happened like at this point. Like we've got so many dead. It's not even funny. But let's talk about the thieves, the peace here. So we forced the UK to dismantle their empire. We've acquired the Rhineland. We've acquired the Palatinate. Acquired Gabon. I think that was the Spanish who wanted that. Where's Gab uh, maybe it's down here. Yeah, it was right here. Uh, acquired Lower Silesia. So this looks a little better as well. So this is back to Austria-Hungary. And forced the German Empire to dismantle their empire. And 21 times the Great War Capitulation. Now you may be wondering. Mr. Mokalover, these are horrendous borders. Why did you take the Rhineland and the Palatinate, but not Alsace-Sorraine? You want to know why? Because this still gives us another Declaration of War button on here as well. Literally, just gives us a, another one, which we can use. Now, they have 25 military score. Um, honestly, we could probably beat them up again. We're at peace for now. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's going to happen. If we break a truce, is that, is that bad? But regardless, there we go. But, yeah, I mean, I took the Palatinate just because, first of all, it's it's got a lot of pops. I mean, it's got hundreds of thousands of pops here. It's got coal, it's got iron, it's got some fruit, too. But I wanted to make the borders look a little nicer, and there's so much coal down here. And now we've got a quite a good amount of Germans here. Whatever. There's some French here, too. Look at that. And Luxembourg. Yeah, Luxembourg's gone, too. Yeah, that's actually really nice. But, yeah, I wanted this to, so that they would have it so we can go to war pretty much immediately. So, let's see if we can try that. Now we go back to war, maybe? Oh! All right, Serbia defaults, whatever. But now we have 1,776 uh, prestige, which is the perfect number. Cut down to sides, I don't really care. We're going to move right on in immediately, because I just... I got a score of two. Yeah, it's been a hellacious war, to say the least. Oh, that's that's where the two score is. And, yep, yeah, we're looking okay. Well, we'll definitely see what happens. Uh, we're making some money. We're the biggest military power in the world. Look at that. Uh, Terrace are not bad. I mean, we're still with the Socialist Party here, which is totally fine. Uh, the breakup of the UK. They've been forced to concede defeat in this war. Now, treaty talks have begun to discuss a break up the Empire. As an enemy of the UK, our place at the table is assured. At the very least, any French lands currently in British position should be returned. We simply wish our lands back. Well, we'll see what happens. The Treaty of London. Oh, boy. What's going to happen over here? And we're still at war with the Germans, which is totally fine with me. I don't really care. Oh! Oh, that is yellow. That is shockingly yellow. Yeah, no one wants to aid the Germans in a war they can't win, so... And again, why would you? Alright, so actually, I need you guys down here, because I need to pull another army from here, I think. And beat up some commie rebels, because they're all over the place. Ugh. I hate the rebellions. We've, I've had not just one, but we've had two communist uprisings, like, off-screen, which is really... I wouldn't say pissed me off, but just, like, it's just a little annoying. You guys look... Oh my gosh, Southern Rhodesia, hello there. Um... We'll just give it some time first, just because... Oh, India! India's free for now. National Congress Party. Burma's free. French age looks just so bad. And we've got to deal with these comments immediately. Uh, we'll go to war with these guys as well if we can, so... The French 
Comoros. Our diplomats secured a round of success today in Paris as they managed to pry the rights of the colony of Cor Comoros. During the last round, the talks on the dismantlement of the defeated countries. The colony might rebel against our rule and fight for their independence, but our exclusive claim to it is sure to make other powers envious of the French diplomacy. Where is this? Oh. It's right here. Um, That's point zero five infamy. Uh, wow, we lose four infamy. That wouldn't be bad, but Point zero five. Heck yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. So that's actually really cool. Niasaland, nice. Adawi, cool. And you guys should be free too. Nice, you guys are free. Um, it shouldn't take too long to get our cores back here, so. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's right. Canada's free too. Oh my goodness. But seriously, I spent a few hours doing this off screen. Like, it was ridiculous. I really did not like it. Oh! Um... I don't understand this one. They're fighting it. Why are they fighting India? What what did India do to them? They're, they're okay then. And you wondered why I did what I did. I did it quite nicely, I say. Very good, very good. All right, so there we go. Let's see what we got. So an engine natural dyes. The discovery of man-made synthetic dyes in the mid-19th century triggered a long decline of the large-scale market for natural dyes, synthetic dyes, which can be produced in large quantities. Quickly superseded natural dyes to the commercial textile production enabled by the Industrial Revolution, and unlike natural dyes, are suitable for the synthetic fibers that follow. In a few of our provinces, the production of natural dyes is in a steady decline for a few years, and now producers can barely sell the product. Faced with bankruptcy, most dye producers are looking for new goods to sell. We can help them look for new markets. Nice. And restore alsace Lorraine. Since Alsace has been restored to its rightful place within the French nation, we should probably revert the street signs back to French. Nice. And I'm still not serving the Geneva Convention. Oh, uh, we could still do that too, but yeah, we'll see what happens. You know what? We've lost so much money at this point, it doesn't even matter. Let's see. Did I actually switch? I switched these guys to soldiers, I think. Yeah, I did. I think at this point, I think I'm done trying to get more soldiers. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and thank you, as well as you. Nice. Oh my gosh, this war has been just—it was incredibly brutal. I guess over there, are we? Where are we? Nice. Yeah, we peaced out with you, but what about round two? All right, let's take a look at this as well. Bureaucrat-wise, we have quite a few places we could throw a few more bureaucrats, get a few more intellectuals. Uh man, that's really devastated our lands. <laughs> Oh, there's rubbles there. Uh, sure. Let's get some bureaucrats over here. There are some bureaucrats in this place, too, because they could probably use it. I'm not sure this is the best thing to do right now, but it seems like an okay idea to do so. And we've got enough bureaucrats. What am I, I going to spend them on? Intellectuals? Maybe. We're trying to get more roads, too, so. It is what it is. Uh, not enough people here yet. Alright, let's send you guys over. So many commies in the military. I don't understand why we have so many commies here. Oh, look at this. British Ghana? The Japanese Shogunate, huh? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I hate these commies. Seriously, like, I don't understand what what is HPM's problem with infinite communist rebellions or socialist rebellions. Like, I'm not sure, but that I don't know why that has not been... Well, I guess I know why it hasn't been looked at, technically, just because I don't know how much development there is really for HPM, but holy crap. I'm, if, if, if there's a mod to help lower the amount of rebels that spawn... I, I'm all ears, man, because I am sick of communist uprising, or just socialist uprising, or whatever. Look at this, they're all commies. That makes it, why are they all communists? It'd be one thing if they're socialist. Like, what the heck? Ideology, socialist, communists are literally 2% of the entire population of France. They're always rebelling, I don't understand why. As Open Milady goes to France, the last great war ended and the German Empire was dismantled. As a punitive measure, the province of Open uh, Malmedy is being ceded to us. Very good. The war is over. Long live France. Oh boy. We get a lot of war exhaustion. We can't go to war for a while. Which is probably, honestly, a good thing. Go ahead and kill every single one of these guys out. Or off, really. Uh, I'm still spending max on military. Uh, Bayushinland. Uh, yeah, I will take Bayushinland for 0 0.05. What do we got here? African Farms and Mines. If you'd like to read about that, which we've done several times already. Go right ahead. Nice. But yeah, we, we have definitely have to go back to war with these guys. It is unacceptable that they are allowed to escape us. So We will do that soon enough, as soon as we get all rid of the commies down here. T should it be a monopoly? Good. Oh, Namibia is looking pretty nice, I'd say. Now, look at this. Hey, we have a regional fairs opened? I don't remember clicking on one that 
Yeah, I don't remember clicking one to open one up, but okay, I'll take that. Maybe I should have had you guys read that, but eh. If you want to, you could probably pause it and do it quickly enough. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Alright, so for you guys, we gotta send another army. I don't know if we have any spare armies to send, so I'm gonna go back down here. There you go. Oh, well, this Canada's a free, now that's nice. Oh, ho! Oh, wow, we have Silesia, we've got Posen, Pomerelia, Danzig, and Westfalen. Civil, there you go. Not bad. There was one comment from yesterday's video saying that we should uh, clean up the boards a little bit more. Well, I'm trying to a little bit. I think this looks pretty good. This does not look very good. Though. Holy crap! Seriously, like this is this 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 actively turns me off from the game. Like I get it. If you have like an occasional rebellion, like once every five years, but once every year or something or twice a year, I, I'm not interested. Ooh, what is this? We accept control. Um, which could. Sure. Oh, oh, ah, nom. Oh, that makes sense then. Organized Vietnamese production. So, introducing coffee and large-scale tea cultivation is in suitable places like Vietnam. Allows us to better take advantage of the potential of Vietnam, increasing our income and leading to more profitable endeavors. Nice. Uh, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. But I'm just going to go ahead and probably grab whatever the companies know what to do. Probably. Yeah, the companies know what is best to do. Trading privileges questioned. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we would have all maxed out reform, so... Uganda? I love Uganda. What is this one? Uh, yes. We will definitely take North... Whatever it is called. Nice! Oh, that is not nice. 80,000... This is why I'm, I am I don't like playing HPM sometimes. Just because of these rebels. Like, why? It doesn't make any sense. Why? Why? For what reason do we have to deal with 40 billion rebels? Like, I understand re rebels. I really, really do. But sometimes, it's just too much. It's it's just literally too much. And too bad Paradox isn't working on the game anymore, but still. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's still, oh, now that is nice. That is so much nicer. We can actually get more uh, soldiers down here to help. Go down to loads of these rebellions. Yes, please. Limited access roads are very nice. Very good, very good. Uh, it's 1918, nothing here yet, nothing here yet either. Industry, culture, don't really care about that for now. Administrative efficiency, uh, let's go with this one. It should, be good. it should get done pretty darn quickly. As long as the capital's okay, we'll be okay. Wow, we're making some serious bank now. Oh my goodness, I don't want to ever do that war again. Holy cow. Uh, if Germany's, oh, what the heck? Dismantled Rwanda. 0 0.05. Yeah, of course we'll take it. Germany should have rebels for the rest of the game now because of how god awful that war was. French Niger, of course. I thought we had African farms in mind, but whatever. Uh, no. These guys should split up eventually. Actually, for who's the world powers now? Oh, Germany's back, huh? Hmm. I'm not sure that's really correct. Oh, we lost down here. God dang it. At least we have that army coming through. Oh, we can... Oh, that's so good. We, we're completely allowed to move through here now. That's so good. Oh, I saw soldiers down here too. Good. Get down here, and then you go up here to help out. There you go. We have only one army to do stuff over here, which is just not very good, man. But hopefully we can make some more army units here. Uh, infantry, one, two, three, let's go with one, two, and then three, four, five, and then armor. Oh, it's not like that. Hopefully we make one fast enough so we can get back up here quickly enough. Uh, sure. We got a lot, uh, Russian Egypt, oh god. There we go, let's do it again. Battle Paris. I mean, they just love killing their own people off. These rebels. Jesus Christ. Whew. I mean, we still got to take out these guys, too. Oh, they took Ostpreußen. Holy goodness. That is disgusting. 
Wait, Ruthenia's back, though. I thought we took him out earlier. Eh, I don't really care. I'll be honest. I really don't care. I just want to put down every single rebellion here, like, possible. Like, is there a way to, like, get rid of communists? Like, just literally just, like, get genocide them? Because I don't want to deal with this anymore. It's... I don't even have socialist rebels. We're socialists. We're not conservative rebels or reactionary rebels. It's literally just the communists every single time. Maybe that's just a French thing. Because in other campaigns, it's usually just socialists when I play, but... This is ridiculous. 26 prestige. Yeah, that's how much prestige you shouldn't have. You should have zero. Absolutely no prestige. Oh, good. At least our allies are still trying to help us out a little bit. Let's take a look at our population. 25.18% uh, of the population is French. Which, honestly, with all these rebellions, it probably ends up being, like, 20%. Alright, voting rights rescinded in Westfalen. Good for you. Oh, we got this, too. We, no, 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 that's just Belize. Okay. Sa same color. I thought I thought we would be doing well there. Alright. They were allied, huh? Oh, we can build so many divisions now. It's so nice. And because we're allied with Spain still, we still have a land access through there, which is pretty darn nice, too. Oh, we can't afford to lose it. Nice. More through that. Let's get out some of that. Okay, seriously. Like, I've said it before. I'm saying it a thousand billion times again. I, I hate this. I hate this so much. This doesn't make any sense. Like, this, this actively makes me just become discouraged from playing the game like why why, why do you have why, why do we have so many rebels like you want max out social spending okay we'll have max stuff then we'll have max max you know just taxation because I can't afford it look at that 240,000 I don't want to be disappointed in the end of this campaign but there's nothing I can do you know here's only we're gonna do mobilize I I don't mobilize for a war but I mobilize to put down over a million communists. This doesn't make any sense at all. Like, this literally makes no sense. Like, I get it that France had a lot of, like, commies in their day, but, and they still might do, maybe, but, oh my goodness. Oof! Yeah, buddy. Black ship company went bankrupt. Um, I ate him, why not? Well, I'm not sure what else to do here, because this is honestly some of the most ridiculousness that I've that I've had to deal with, that we've had to deal with. Really, it's one thing to fight a war against Germany and the UK, but the over 500,000 rebels of just com they're just communists. They're loser communists, and they're not doing, and they can't we can't do anything about them. Like we have the max amount of reforms. I've given them everything they've wanted, and it's still not enough. Over three quarters of a million are, are there. Why? How? Uh, you guys actually stay here. Uh, come on back over. There you go. You guys, you guys should do okay there. Um, other parts of Africa will be okay because we still have our armies moving around, hopefully. There you go. And they should be dealt with and dusted with very, very soon. Uh, well, we should be okay here as well. Hello, army down there. All right. A million men are fighting this battle right now. It makes no sense. It just doesn't make sense. Ah, France, why? That's that's annoying too. Hey, we're looking pretty good down here though. That's actually pretty nice. Saarbrücken? Yeah, it'd be one thing if they were German rebels, but no. The French, oh, we just won a war. Okay, uh, let's have a fourth or fifth rebellion. Third, fourth, or fifth. You know, at this point... As you can tell, I'm pretty much done with this campaign. I thought we did really, really well. I'd like to get more colonies, but we'll see what happens, you know? You guys go there, and I'm going to have you guys reinforce the area here. Because as long as we don't lose... They have over a million communists. Why? For what reason? 24.92%. Let's keep that in mind, because... We just had another communist uprising. Again. Again and again and again and again. <sighs> All 
Are any of them even dying? Look how many come. I mean, come on. We won the war. I, I mean, I get it. Yeah. We've got a lot of, you know, problems here. But Jesus Christ. What the heck? I mean, Africa, our African holdings are looking pretty good, honestly. Like, compared to mainland France. Did we just lose the war? Oh, boy. No. Okay. We're still fighting here. That's good. Alright, at this point, we gotta go max out. Build an army. Europe. Get the French guards going. We can't do this. Go, build, 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 build. I need as many infantrymen out as possible. Those who are supposedly loyal to our cause, or just to the motherland or mainland. God dang it. New store in Colmar, that's nice. I'm not even bothered reading. I'm just worried about Paris. I don't want to flip communist. Like, <sighs> even I, I hit zero infamy earlier, and your consciousness continues to go up, which there's nothing you can do. There's literally nothing we can do about this. I just don't want to become communist. I will like you can already tell. Like this is pretty much the last episode of, this, uh, of campaign. As fun as this is, I don't want to deal with communists anymore. I, what the? Okay, I'm, I'm done with this campaign. I'm done absolutely 100% right now. Because I don't have enough armies to put these pieces of garbage down. I don't understand why we can't have enough armies for this. But apparently the game's just like, nope. Nope. Just no. Don't feel like it. Don't feel like it. Come on. I know I know that it's, I'm pretty sure, I'm, 100, I'm like 99% of the way sure that it's hard-coded that France has a cap on how many divisions they can make. It's ridiculous. We're going to see this battle in Paris at the end. If we turn communist, so be it, but... Oh, Jesus Christ, this is stupid. I guess we got that one done. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's 1919. Great war experience might as well, right? More military morale, more tactics. Ooh, National Banking Act finally got that. While our government has for some time maintained a central bank, some voices within the economic debate have begun arguing in favor of monopolizing the issuing of currency to the strict government prerogative. Proponents argue that this will lead to an increase in economic stability, while opponents see it as a fundamental breach of the freedom of trade. All right, cool, cool. They they don't like it when I tax the hell out of them. Well, how about you don't rise up? <laughs> oh, now we have 1.5 million people trying to fight here. Wait, who who bro? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean this wasn't worth it. This wasn't worth it. I mean after everything we have done here, these guys just rebel against us. No, I'm sorry, but no. As, as much as I love Vicky too, this is this is broken. This is 100% broken. I don't. I, I wanted to do at least one more episode after this, but after doing all this stuff, I'm not interested. I'm just not interested in this. I mean, they just rise up and do and what? There's nothing we can do. They just oh, we'll just come back. We'll just come back. I get it. Like this mechanic has to be in the game, but like what? What, what can I do here? No matter what you do, France has infinite consciousness and. Almost, you know, militancy at least. Militancy's looking okay for now, but there's literally nothing you can do. There's literally nothing. I know I'm complaining a lot, but this is dumb. I didn't even have to mobilize to fight the UK or Germany because we had all those allies of ours. But I have to mobilize to put down French communists? That might be a little broken. That might be a need to get a little bit looked at for HPM. Holy crap, that's so stupid. <laughs> okay, look at all the commies. We have a few Jacobins. Okay, we got a few Jacobins. They're literally all just commies, though. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, after all that, after the hours I've spent off screen, just get destroyed by communists? Pfft, come on. Well, hey, look. Well, technically it's 28% because we've lost several different places, but that is stupid, and that should not happen. That honestly should not happen. 100% should not happen. Let's see. You know what? Just call my allies in. Just call everyone else in. I'm not, I'm not going to fight it. Everyone else can fight it for me. Japan is taking part of Liberia. Okay. Russian Nigeria. Nigeria. What? We had a war justification for them. <sighs> I 
This is why I'm, this is the last episode. I can't deal with this anymore. I mean, this is just stupid. I mobilize, not to defeat the enemies, but these people here. Like, how does that make any sense? That makes no sense. I know I said it before, but I'm pissed off at this. I'm really just, I'm not having a good time with this. I guess France, and really, it's, it's just HPM in general. They just love socialists so much. Love, 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 love socialists so much. And we're gassing our own people, look at that. You know what, if I was there too, I'd probably say gas rebels. Yeah, look, 54,000 dead. Pretty good. Pretty good. Colony uprising in where? Patani. So stupid. This is just so stupid. Wait, no, I don't want to justify war. Why do, what? <laughs> what a waste of time then. I mean, it was a waste of time then. If they're, all they're just going to do is just rise up and have rebellions again and again and again and again and again. Literally, we have the war justification against these guys, and we can't go to war? This is the most disappointing end to a camp. Well, one of the most disappointing ends to the campaign I've ever had. Not the most, but one of the most. When Africa is more stable than your own home capital. Literally killing hundreds of thousands of men every day. Or just thousands of men. I mean, just hundreds of, depending on the dash roll, I guess. I'm calling them in. They, they don't want to come in. Nah, they got a problem then. Uh, who else did we accept the alliance? I think it was Greece and Spain. Even though Greece is probably not that strong, to be honest with you. Good. Go ahead. Oh, do we actually have reforms? Bankruptcy? Oh, we never got bankruptcy, huh? No one wants it, though. Alright. Kind of wanted that earlier, though. So, the last thing we're going to do here is just watch us take out these guys. <sighs> That's incredibly disappointing. Oh, hello. But yeah, I mean, if there's a mod, please let me know in the comments below. Like, like severely limit the amount of rebels you can get. I get it, like, there should be rebels. But I've had to deal with like five uprisings within the past five years. Like, and now we're fighting literally, we fought at least over a, over a million communists here. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It just does not make any sense that I have to mobilize to defeat communists in my own country instead of the two greatest powers in the world that are allied. Thousands. I want to see the casualties. How many dead French people are there going to be because of communists' ignorance and stupidity? All right, we should have just kept the monarchy. <laughs> That's it. We should have kept the monarchy this entire time. Should have just kept the monarchy. This wouldn't happen under a monarchy. Gassing our own people because they will refuse to listen to us as we try to give them as much as we can possibly give them. Get maxed out reforms. Oh, sure, we'll take it. That, why not? I wanted to take out the Netherlands, but I'm done with this campaign. Oh, we could. It won't be too difficult. What the hell are you doing still over there, man? Would you like to come into Paris? There, it's a good time of year this good time of year this year to come visit. Why do you keep breaking our alliance, son? They will accept. Yeah, they keep breaking the lines. I think the game's bug, maybe. And we still only have the second biggest industry in the world. I wonder who's number one. Oh, let's take a look. Uh, the UK should be... Dr uh, I don't know if it should be that high. Lost all that prestige. America can't even compete somehow. Okay, that's, that's a bug. That's a bug. Germany isn't even in the top t eight, which is awesome. Yeah, they deserve all what they get. Even though maybe not commies. Oh, good lord. Yeah, they love... Yeah. They love, they absolutely 100% love an HPM, communists and socialists. It's a bit over too much though, like I said before. It's just a bit too much 
I think it skews a little bit too hard for them. But you know what? I guess all they do is just rebel. Commies and socialists, I guess. That's what, I guess that's the narrative that the devs want to portray. Well, at least they don't have gas defense. I mean, how many has, have had to die? Africans farms and mines, they should have never rebelled. And yet, sometimes... Oh, actually, I, I would have done that one, but... Uh, like, I can't even think... I can't even remember what I was going to say. But hey, at least we united all... Well, a good chunk of Northern Africa. Yeah, sometimes when these guys popped out and said, Oh, you can go to war with them. I guess that was determined to be a lie. All that work... And we didn't even get... Couldn't even keep this. Couldn't even keep that. All that time we spent. Trying to make ourselves stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah, I don't know if I'd recommend France and HPM. I mean, it's not bad. I might recommend it a little bit. Piss them off more, why not? But, I might recommend them, but just be warned that it... Oh, hello. Sweden? Let me support this side. Yeah, I thought you'd wipe these out. Yeah, you don't want us to get involved, do you? But, yeah, it, it's not perfect. I don't know, maybe I'm done with HPM for a while. Maybe we'll try... I don't know about HFM. HFM seems a little bit too laggy for me personally. That's why I don't like playing it sometimes. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, just... When I try playing HFM, it just chugs my... No, desk, no, at least my laptop. Maybe not so much a desktop. I've yet to try it on the desktop, but... I don't know. We'll see. I know HFM is a little bit more railroady, but we'll see what happens. I, I want to be careful, because we're getting close to killing every single one of these French communists die, but somehow, we still have over seven consciousness. Oh, look at this. Formula? Sure. Why? Who's pissed off here? Why? Unemployment? Well, how about you leave and go find another employment somewhere else? Where is this? Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta pause it. Look how many died. This this is an abomination. There we go. The only time I've ever mobilized is to put down enemies <laughs> that are communists. Like, that makes zero sense. That makes absolutely no sense. So we've lost 370,000 French soldiers, including conscripts, to kill off over 1.2 million, a total of like 1.9 million died. Roughly 2 million died in the Battle for Paris, just because commies can't, are just big babies here. Like, Jesus Christ. That is terrible. Like, oh my goodness. And consciousness didn't go down at all. Militancy didn't go down at all. Like, where are these... The game is just like, making communists like spawn out of nowhere. But, I think that's going to end this campaign here. I guess we could... Yep, we got the research done. I didn't even finish all this stuff, but I'm just... I think I'm tuckered out from playing since Vic 2. So, I'll come back to Vic 2 sometime. Not sure when, but this is pretty much it. And the borders. While they're not looking great, and I didn't do as much as I would have liked, I think we still did okay in the end. Despite the infinite communists that rise up. But regardless, if you enjoyed the campaign, do consider leaving a like or, you know, uh, Subscribe if you are new, even though by the time you're watching this, you probably are subscribed. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And, oh, the Russians on that too. I will see you tomorrow in a different campaign. In which Australia is free and India is going to take it out by the Austro-Hungarians. Who knew? Thanks for watching though. And have a great, great rest of your day.